I want to thank all the witnesses for being here as well. <clears throat> this is the second hearing we've had on this subject. Bill Johnson had a hearing last week in the Environment Subcommittee. This is sort of a follow-up for that, so I'm looking forward to it. So I thank you all for being here today, and welcome to the Energy, Climate, Grid, Security Subcommittee hearing America's future, leading a new era of energy dominance, security, and environmental stewardship. The world is a safer and more secure place with American leadership. And this means leadership with our energy, with our technology, and with our values as we continue our path towards reduction of greenhouse gas emissions and cleaner air and water, we cannot lose sight of the role energy plays in assuring our economic future, our nation's security, and the security of our allies. We also cannot lose sight of the fact that the world would demand more energy, not less, in the future. Developing nations are hungry for the benefits of reliable, affordable energy that will help lift their people out of po poverty and into prosperity. Because of this demand, there will be a great energy expansion in the coming years. And America should play a key role in this expansion, not retreat from it, and not deprive the world of the benefits of our abundant resources and technologies. Pro-growth energy policies and a predictable regulatory environment and the American entrepreneurial spirit enabled America to be a leader in energy production while simultaneously reducing emissions. We led the world in reducing carbon dioxide emissions while also becoming the world's number one producer of both oil and natural gas. The air is cleaner globally and our allies in Europe and Asia are more energy secure because of America's high quality energy production and exports. Last week in our Environment, Manufacturing, Critical and Mineral Subcommittee, we highlighted how the United States is leading the world in reducing emissions of all types and the types of policies that have contributed to this, this success. Today, we'll focus on what is needed to continue success and preserve the benefits of American energy dominance, our security, and the environmental benefits that can flow from that. The United States have become the number one producer of oil and natural gas because of policies that allow the private sector to innovate and advance their technologies. And we do it cleaner and safer than any other country. U.S. LNG exports are 40% cleaner than Russian LNG and is cleaner than other alternative fuels. Using our gas and gas turbine technologies to meet the demand of the develop, developing world will lead to lower emissions as we had, as we heard in testimony just last week. It will also meet our paramount interest in assuring national and energy security. Remember, there is no national security without energy security. Unfortunately, the approach taken by this administration seeks an aggressive regulatory agenda and transition away from our energy strengths. The result would be less reliable and affordable energy and an increased reliance on adversarial nations that have little to no environmental or labor standards. As we become weaker, our adversaries become stronger. H.R. 1, the Lower Energy Cost Act passed by the House earlier this Congress, recognizes this and seeks to restore American energy dominance by increasing domestic energy production, modernizing the permitting process, boosting the production of critical minerals, to secure our energy supply chains and streamlining permitting for energy exports. A key goal of restoring American energy dominance will be to strengthen our nuclear industry and leadership. Of course, nuclear energy is our nation's leading source of emissions-free energy, but is also a critical national security asset. Being a leader in nuclear energy provides us the opportunity to export our nuclear technologies and set global nuclear safety and security norms. If we don't do this, China and Russia both with robust nuclear programs, surely will do it to the detriment of our national security. So I'm pleased to have introduced the Atomic Energy Advancement Act with my colleague, Ranking Member Deget. This bill encapsulates the work of many members of this committee on both sides of the aisle and seeks to advance the benefits of nuclear energy by enabling efficient, timely, and predictable licensing, regulation, and deployment of nuclear energy technologies. I'm excited that we're moving forward with this true bipartisan effort to advance nuclear energy in the United States to help position us for success on the global stage. We'll be marking that up today and hopefully get that package to the floor rather quickly. So with that, let me welcome our witnesses today. I look forward to the discussion and how we can advance American energy and our global leadership. With that, I'll yield back.